Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. How is everybody doing this morning? Welcome, welcome to Temple of Praise Church morning prayer here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm so glad that you are joining us this morning, and I pray that you are. Boy, did we have a marvelous time yesterday. It was fantastic. It was powerful. Praise God. The Lord did something wonderful. Something marvelous happened yesterday during prayer. I mean, man, it is amazing what God is doing, and I give him all the glory and all the honor for what he is doing today and what he will do from here on out. Praise the Lord. God is doing great things. I don't know about you, but man, God is moving. The Lord is moving in a significant way. I mean, God is just touching people and ministering to people. And man, it's just exciting to see what God is doing in our midst. Um, I was talking yesterday to one of our pastors here in, in uh at, here at the church, and he was telling me that uh, he went and visited a certain uh, a certain family. Uh, this is like a couple of days ago, and he went in and and uh, and talked to them. And I think their mom was going to have surgery, so they got the family together and things. There, at, uh, they have a business, and so man, he just started ministering to them. He was sharing the word with them. And they, you know, they just started crying and they started weeping before the Lord, just reading the word. You know, the Holy Spirit was just touching them. I mean, man, it wasn't not even a church service. It was just a man of God showing up in the time of need and people got strengthened and ministered to. Isn't that amazing? Golly, I mean, God is just moving. If we would just move with him, man, I mean, wow, the Lord is doing great things. It is amazing the things that are taking place right now. Man, I'm, I'm just uh, so excited. I'm just so thankful to God for the blessings that the Lord is providing and his, the moving of his spirit. Hey, I have, a, I have some testimonies I want to share with y'all. Some uh, powerful testimonies that are taking place uh, that happened yesterday as a result of our prayers and your prayers and all of us together and collectively. I mean, the Spirit of God is moving. I mean, the, the Lord is moving. I mean, man, get into this. I mean, y'all pray and, and let's seek the Lord together because God is moving. He's doing something. Anyways, um, uh, yesterday uh, 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 somebody called and, and said, you know what, And uh, there's a uh, need in our home and, and we need... Uh, this to happen and this to happen and whatever and so they you know I you know I prayed and I you know well I asked them I said you know what uh, uh, because there a certain something wasn't working or something and I said you know what just speak life just just speak life to it speak the word of God just speak life and command it to you know to align itself with the word of God and guess what praise the Lord Man, the, I mean, the Lord just blessed them and, and touched their life and ministered to them in that area. Yesterday, someone sent me a text and said, Brother, uh, uh, in fact, let me back up. Uh, during the prayer, as I was praying, the Lord said, Pray for those that pray for the, the spirit of suicide to be canceled right now. Pray for it right now. Just just decree it and declare it and pray that the Spirit of God would just touch and cancel that assignment of, of a suicide. So I did it. I mean, right at that moment, the, the Lord said, do it. Do it now. Do it now. And so um, you got to understand, God's people, that when God tells me to do something at that moment, when it's time to pray, uh, uh, I do it in obedience to him. He's the one that did dictates to us how to pray praise God and so I did that and guess what God's people later on in that day someone sent me a text and said you know what man I was battling that day I have a tremendous battle with suicide and and yesterday was real heavy on me and man I couldn't shake it off and and they went into more detail of what's going on in their life but anyway they heard the prayer. They got involved in the prayer. This is later on. They got involved in the prayer. And so when the prayer of us together collectively praying, when that finished, man, they said, you know what? 
I'm in the book of Proverbs right now, and I praise God that everything's going to be all right. They went from not wanting to live to being in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs. Isn't that something? The Lord canceled the assignment of suicide. Praise God. That is amazing what God just did. Wow, that is powerful what the Holy Spirit just did. Just talked, I mean, just spoke to someone concerning suicide. It was beautiful what God did. I mean, God's people, there is an anointing right here, right now, to answer prayer. If you would just send it, if you believe in faith, you will receive according to the word of God and the will of God. Praise the Lord. I mean, just powerful, powerful, powerful. Thank you for those comments. Thank you, those comments that are coming in. Yes, praise the Lord. Thank you. And I want to thank you. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to be I'm going to open my heart to you, to all of you right now. I have a battle being on Facebook and praying. Believe me, man, I, I, today I was struggling and I said, Lord, do you want me to do this? Do do I go on Facebook? Maybe I should. Maybe I mean, I was really battling this morning. I said, well, maybe I should stop. Maybe I'm doing too much. And you got to understand, folks, this is by faith, man. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was just kind of, well, Lord, you know, should I do this live? I don't know. Maybe I'm too radical. Maybe people are not ready. You know, all the excuses of why not to do things. And I just want to share and I just want to say to that person that said that comment, that they were glad that I'm doing this on Facebook. That's a confirmation. Thank you. That, that really encouraged me. Because, you know, even though the Lord tells you to do things, it doesn't mean, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll do it. You know, usually it's not, well, I don't know, you know. Uh, I don't know, God, if I should do it. But your encouraging word, man, it means a lot. And those of you that are faithful on our Facebook or, or are actually on our web page, you know, getting into prayer, thank you so much. I mean, God's people, this is an assignment from the Lord, I'm telling you, and it's and, and it's not easy. I wish I could tell you that everything is a bed of roses. I mean, just the fact that I'm doing this right now, you know, the lighting is wrong and, you know, it's not correct. And, and uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> the, the excuses are there. Believe me, I don't have the equipment that I need to do this. And, and y'all pray for me. Pray for us. I want the equipment. I, I I want God to supply whatever we need to make this cutting edge. Th I mean, uh, I mean to make it cutting edge, man, and to be right in the forefront of what the Lord wants to do. I asked the Lord what He wanted us to pray for this morning, and again, if you have a prayer request, please send it. We will get it right away. We will. We will um, uh, post it or, or, or just speak it out right away and, and, and you know, just, just, just believe God for you and with you. But God's people, there's three specific things that God asked me to pray for today that the Lord wants us to pray for. And this is what it is. This is what the Lord said for us to pray for. Number one. We are going to pray for the men to take their leadership role spiritually. That's what the Lord wants. He wants his men to rise up and to take spiritual authority and leadership in their home. Not in the church, in the home. God wants to do something powerful and something mighty among the men. And we have some men. I know here at church we have some men that are, man, they are a blessing. They are in the forefront. They are doing great things for God. And there are prayer warriors here in our church. And I can only validate for them. But nothing can be further from the truth. It's not all like that. And so we are going to pray that God would raise men, men of valor, men filled with the Holy Spirit and will take hold of the horns of the altar 
and cry out for their families, for their wives, for their kids, for the nation, for the city. Praise God. The next thing that the Lord wants us to pray about this morning is for the protection of the administration, including our president of the United States. I don't know if you have heard, there are some witches and some warlocks, and I don't know who else, wants to cast a spell on the White House and on the entire administration. But guess what? Our God is a powerful God. There ain't no power like the power of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Our God is an awesome God, and he reigns forevermore. So we're going to pray and cast that assignment out of the United States of America in the name of Jesus. We're going to do it. We have the power of God. Hallelujah. Number three, people of God, I have nothing against anyone that wants to start a church in the name of the Lord. And we're not against any particular group of people. But what we're up against is a particular religion that is not of the Lord. And it's trying to be infiltrated in San Antonio. And guess what? That's not going to happen. Praise the Lord. The only religion, or should I say belief system, in this city, in every state, and every nation, is the Lord God of glory. He's the one that we are going to exalt in this city, in the state, and in the nation. Praise God. And we're going to see the move of God, God's people. We are going to see the move of the presence of the Lord like never before. And so get ready because that's what's going to take place. And that's, that is what's going to happen in our midst. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence and your power. Thank you, Lord. The word of God declares that the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It also declares that when two or three are gathered in his name, he is there in the midst. Praise God. We're also going to pray in the name of Jesus for anyone that is going through sickness. I have a brother-in-law right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. That my brother-in-law would be totally healed in the name of Jesus right now from cancer and anybody that has cancer in the name of Jesus symptoms of sickness we're going to in Jesus name we're going to cast it out thank you lord thank you father thank you jesus i just got <laughs> a a, a, <laughs> a um, what a congratulations from facebook can you believe it It says, congratulations, this is your most commented on live video yet. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, man, God is good. Let me tell you, what can I say? I, I just want to praise God, man. I mean, I'm so humbled. I'm, I, really, I'm so humbled, man. I, man, to God be the glory. I mean, he is so good and so wonderful and so awesome. Oh man, I mean I'm just I'm just overwhelmed with his presence because God's people you know there's a scripture that says that no man can do these things unless God be with him. And that's the way I see this. And I want that folks, my brothers and my sisters, all of us that God be with us because we need that right now. We really do. Did y'all see, uh, somebody posted, someone just posted something on Facebook that the family Christian stores are going to close indefinitely. They're closing all 
250 stores, or 40 stores, 240 stores in 36 states. They employ 3,000 people, even the offices in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Man, that, I don't rejoice over that. This is our, I wish our brethren would have said, please pray for us. We're going through something. This is Family Christian Store, but that means well, you know, our, the way we shop people are, is changing. It is changing. Our society is changing. And we must go to where the people are. And so let's pray, God's people. Are you ready to pray? If you have a prayer request and you want to post it instantly, either on Facebook or on my text, put it on the comment of Facebook and, and we will get it immediately and we will pray for your situation. Are you ready to pray God's people? Let's pray right now. Father, we choose to get up early in the morning and before we do anything else, we have chosen all of, all of us, Father, collectively to seek your face. We could have done so many things, oh God. There's so many things we could do this morning. And maybe they need to be done. But we have chosen today, Father, to say, Lord, I'm going to spend time with you. I want to set my time aside for your purposes, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, all of us collectively together via our church website, Temple of Praise Church, Facebook, I pray eventually Instagram, Twitter, all these social medias that are out there for our disposal to use for the good. I know it's being used for the bad, but we're using it for the good. We're using it for you, God. And so, Lord, in Jesus' name, we come before your throne asking you, Lord, that you would hear our prayers, that you would listen to our petition as your people, that, God, that we as your people who are called by your name will humble ourselves and pray and seek your face. And turn from our wicked ways. Then you will hear from heaven. You will forgive our sin. And you will heal our land. Father don't help us not to make that acute scripture. But that it would be a way of life. Something that we live in day in day out. Because this is who we are. And this is what we do. This is who we are, my God. This is what we do. This is not part of our Christianity. It is, Lord, embedded in our spiritual DNA to worship something or somebody. And so we, as your people, have chosen to worship you. And we will not worship any other gods but you. That's all that we're going to do, just worship you. And so, God, today we have, in, we have need of you, Lord. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. That's why all of us are here. We have need of you, God. And, Lord, I want to thank you that you have been good to us, even when we have not been good, Lord. You have displayed grace and favor even when we don't deserve it. You have been mighty good to us. Lord, I thank you today for your marvelous presence. Where would we be without you? Where can we go without you, Lord? What is it, Lord Jesus? There is, Lord, there is something that cries out within our hearts. And it says, Abba, Father. It says to us, Daddy God, hear us. 
Lord, my mother and father have gone on already. And I felt alone at one time. But you spoke to me and you said, I will be your father and mother. In fact, your word declares that when my mother and father forsook me, the Lord took me. Oh God, you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You're always there, God. And I thank you, Lord, that you are always here. That you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray. I want to pray right now for a sister in the Lord that asks for prayer. And she's going through therapy and, and she's believing God for miracles. And Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for my sister right now. That, Lord, that the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to touch her body even now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree and declare that not only the right side of her body, but the left side of her body will work. And all the functions of the brain will begin to communicate even now. In the name of Jesus, right now, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, the anointing oil of the Almighty God is touching right now. My sister, in the name of Jesus, the power of the Lord is touching her body right now in the name of Jesus right now. The Spirit of the Lord is touching people that have the after effects of stroke right now in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, God, there is a healing right now for somebody. There is a miracle for somebody. If you would just receive right there, right there in your house. If you in your house just lift up your hands and say, God, I receive my miracle right now. I receive my healing right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak life to my limbs, to my body, to my back, to my head, to my... I, I curse right now in Jesus' name, infections. I rebuke infections right now from the body in the name of Jesus. It, sinus infection, bladders infection, lower back problems, uh, discs out of place. In the name of Jesus, deteriorating discs, vertebrae. In the name of Jesus, we declare and decree... Life, life in the body right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is touching the bodies right now in Jesus' name. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord is touching bodies right now in Jesus' name. God is doing miracles in bodies right now in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper in the name of Jesus right now. I thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Father, right now. In Jesus' name. Now I declare, remember that I mentioned three things that God wants us to pray about. Right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, pray about the men of the Lord. Pray about men of God. Uh, our Trump uh, administration. Because there, there's some de uh, witches and warlocks that, that are they want to cast, I don't know what. Whatever it is, it's going to go because the power of God is greater than anything. I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is. And number three, we're going to pray in Jesus' name that, that our God will be exalted in San Antonio and only our God only in San Antonio and Texas and in the nation and around the world in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to lift up right now the men the godly men, the men that serve God. Father, you have instructed me today to pray for men this morning. And I pray in the name of Jesus that every man that proclaims the name of God, 
that stands for the word of God and is full of the presence of the Lord and is committed to you. I pray in the name of Jesus that the holy fire of the Lord will touch men everywhere. God, I pray that the men will rise up and take their place and begin to build altars in the name of Jesus in their home and to declare in their house and in their families and in their wives and Lord their children and they will say as for me and my house we will serve the Lord we will serve God I pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will begin to touch the men Lord God right now Father I pray that the holy boldness will come to our men Lord that they will decree and they will declare the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus I speak the fire of God upon the men right now in the name of Jesus that the men will begin to rise up and call upon the name of the Lord and rebuke demons and rebuke powers and rebuke spiritual wickedness in high places and that the men of God will rise up and declare what thus saith the Lord in their families in their lives in themselves in the name of Jesus Lord you want to use the men to be Lord a forerunner and a declarer of the word of God and father I know that the women do that they do it all the time and God I praise you for them I thank God for them but God cause the men of God to rise up and to begin to declare what thus saith the Lord not in the church but in their own home that they will take their families by Lord by their arms and by their hands and say come on let's pray let's seek God let's touch the throne of God let's begin to declare what thus saith the Lord and Lord let the men of the Lord begin to build altars right there in their home and to call upon the name of the Lord for they shall be saved in the name of Jesus Lord we call upon you that the men of God will rise up and grant us modern day Joshua's and modern day Elijah's Lord that will cause fire from heaven Lord God not in the church in the house Christianity begins in the house it does not begin in the church it begins in the home in fact Joshua said as for me and my house we will serve the Lord hallelujah glory to God oh father there's victory in the camp the men are gonna rise up and declare the word of the Lord in their own home and they're gonna speak what does say of the Lord and they're gonna begin to prophesy in their own home and God they're gonna be blazing fires of the glory of God in their life father flames burning Lord like brands from the burning in the name of Jesus I thank you that Lord the two-edged sword will be in one hand and the word of God will come out of their mouth oh God to execute judgment and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and noble with fetters of iron in the name of Jesus hallelujah to God glory to the Lord Man, I felt the anointing of God. I'm telling you, I felt the presence of the Lord in, as we were praying for men right now. Praise God. Praise God. Now that we have prayed for men, this is the second thing that God wants us to pray for the administration, for Donald Trump. There are some witches that want to do some damage to our administration and our president and our brethren are involved in there. Some brothers in the Lord. There's some pastors that are counseling Donald Trump. And there's some witches that today they declare that they want to cast a spell on our brethren. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up. I am fired up right now. Pray with us, God people. Pray with us. We're going to come to the rescue. Man, we're going to come to the rescue of our brethren, of our pastors. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready God's people? I feel the anointing. I mean I'm telling you. I feel the power of God. Whew, I feel the. I feel something. I feel the presence. And man. We're not in this alone God's people. Church it's time to arise. It's time to arise. In the name of Jesus. You better stand. We better stand. 
because they're coming against us with everything. And we have the power of God. We have the name of Jesus. Let's pray God in the name of Jesus right now. There are some witches, oh God, that want to cast a spell on pastors and on Donald Trump and Mike Pence and all these men of God. But Father, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that shall arise against us in judgment, you will condemn. So Father, in the name of Jesus right now, do battle for us. Satan, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I dispatch a battalion of angels to go right now and surround Donald Trump and the White House and Lord Vice President Pence and all the pastors that are associated in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against God's people shall prosper and every tongue that shall arise against it in judgment you will condemn. Father, right now we lose the angelic host to surround and right now in Jesus' name that a assignment is canceled is canceled father send the fire of god to the white house to the pastors to mike pence oh god right now in the name of jesus let it happen oh god make it happen oh god in the name of jesus no weapon formed against them is going to prosper in the name of jesus Lord, I ask that a bloodline will surround the White House, will surround the pastors, will surround uh, President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence and everybody that is praying right there. We have some Christians that are praying right now, God. I pray that supernatural divine protection will be around them right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, I say the word again, no weapon and form against them is going to prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to the Lord. Oh God, to you be the glory. To you be the honor. And right now the walls of Jericho are falling down, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we will possess the land. We will possess the land. The Lord, the, the Father, Lord, the entire administration belongs to you. It is in your hands. It belongs to you. God, right now, I thank you for the victory. God, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. There are neither life, nor death, nor principalities, nor powers, nor rulers, nor life, nor death, nor any creature shall separate us from the love of God. For we are more than conquerors in the name of Jesus we thank you father thank you Lord we are more than conquerors through him that love us hallelujah hallelujah to God the anointing of the Lord man I'm telling you it is flowing right now the presence of the Holy Spirit is moving in a mighty way okay the next thing that God wants us to pray about that he showed me this morning is they want to build Churches that are not churches. And you know what I'm talking about. They want to bring a certain religion that is not according to the will of God. They're trying to come in, folks. I'm telling you. Did y'all see the story right here in Channel 12? Check it out. We are going to pray that the only true God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory is going to be established in San Antonio, in the state of Texas, in the United States of America. The banner of the Lord is going to be multiplied and excel and accelerated. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the time for the church to arise. This is the time that the church must stand and say, in Jesus' name, our allegiance is to the Lord God of glory, and to Him we belong. And so, Father, right now, 
I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be a holy boldness and a boldness from God's people to arise into a new level and to a new place, O oh God, that they would, Lord, begin to declare what thus saith the Lord. And God, it's time for the church to arise. It's time for the church to take arms and to say, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're not going to bury our head in the sand. We're going to rise up and we're going to stand up and we're going to declare what the Lord says in the name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors. And God, I believe in the name of Jesus that there will be a breakout of Christian churches all over the nation and all over the world. And be and the, and the God's people will begin to call upon the name of the Lord in their churches, in their houses of worship. And God's people will begin to declare and say, yes, Lord, I'm going to do it for you. And God, I pray that this new generation of young people, God, may the fire of the Holy Spirit be upon them. I pray that you would visit them with Holy Ghost and fire in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Holy Spirit of the Lord begin to burn like fire shut up in their bones. God, release in Jesus' name the glory of the Lord, the Spirit of God, the presence presence of God, the move of the Holy Spirit. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today that you are raising up a militant army of God's people and they are arising in power and demonstration of the Spirit and they are not going to be ashamed and we are not going to be ashamed, oh God, for our allegiance is unto you and you alone, oh God. I thank you today, God, that there's a new, Lord, a new wave of prayer going through San Antonio, a new wave of intercessors that will call upon the name of the Lord and begin to cry out unto God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for all of us. I pray, God, that you would give us a new holy boldness, that you would give us, oh God, Lord, that desire and the fire and the presence of God to be able to go out and be flames for the Lord. In the name of Jesus and the glory of God begin to be manifest it. In the name of Jesus, I pray that there will be a holy hunger among us. God, that it will be so unprecedented, Lord, that they would see us and they will say, yes, that is a child of God. That is a, a minister of the Lord, full of the power of God, full of the Holy Spirit. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we call upon you and we are not ashamed, oh God. You said if we are ashamed before men, that we, Lord, you would be ashamed before the Father and and God, we are not ashamed in the name of Jesus. We call upon you and we say right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the presence of the Lord is going to touch every child of God. Starting today, we're going to experience visions and dreams. And God, you're going to speak to us in the night. And you're going to show us what to do. And God, you're going to reveal your plan in our life. And God, we are going to follow and we're going to pursue and we're going to take dominion and we're going to call. Lord, we're going to decree that souls are going to be saved. And God, we're going to claim that our family members are away from God. They're coming back. The backslider is coming back. In the name of Jesus, they're coming back. They're coming back. They belong to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, everyone, every every person that used to know the Lord and are not serving God anymore, I claim them back in the name of Jesus, back to the house of the Lord, back to you, O oh God. And Father, they belong to you. The blood of Jesus has already claimed them. And Lord, it's a matter of time. I pray in the name of Jesus that they will receive visions of the night. And Lord, that they will be uncomfortable and they will receive conviction oh God and you would reach out to them with the love of God and the spirit of the Lord and begin to speak to them in the name of Jesus hallelujah to God oh father I thank you today for everyone that is watching, everyone that's participating. I want to thank you, Lord God, that, Father, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is touching them afresh and anew. I thank you, Lord God, that you're doing great and mighty things which we know not, oh God. In the name of Jesus, 
We proclaim that Jesus is Lord in San Antonio. We, be, we proclaim that Jesus is Lord in the state of Texas. We proclaim that Jesus is Lord in the name of Jesus in the United States of America. We declare in Jesus' name that Jesus is Lord around the nation and all over the world. That of your kingdom there shall be no end, O God. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that of your kingdom there shall be no end. You are exalted. You are high and lifted up, and your train filled the temple. God, I thank you, Lord, that the fire of the Lord is burning among your people, and there's a new passion and a new desire and a new hunger for you, God, among your people. And I want to thank you for that, Lord, that no man can do these things. It's only you, God. It comes from you, but we are hungry, and we are thirsty, and we desire the bread that doesn't perish, oh God. Oh, Father, in the name name of Jesus, I thank you today for the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, today. Oh, this is a new day for the child of God. This is a new day for the people of God. There is a new holy boldness that is coming forth. There is a new desire that is coming forth from the throne of heaven to God's people. This is a new day for the believer. Lord, we're casting out the old and we're ushering in the new by your spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your blessings. God, I decree, we decree and we declare in the name of Jesus... That this Sunday, wherever people go to church, I pray that there will be an interruption of the Holy Spirit. I mean a Holy Ghost interruption of your presence. That God, it will be noised abroad. That there is an invasion, not of a foreign army or an invasion of terrorism. It will be an invasion of the Holy Spirit. It will be an invasion of Almighty God. It will be an invasion of miracles. An invasion of souls being saved. An invasion of the kingdom of God coming forth. Lord, that's our prayer today. Invade and saturate the White House. Lord, the entire nation, saturate, Father, in Jesus' name, San Antonio and our lives and every church and every pastor and every child of God and every usher, every elder, every deacon, every worship leader, every praise team. God, that the glory of the Lord will invade in the name of Jesus, an invasion of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. An invasion of your presence. An invasion of God's Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to God. Oh, God, I thank you, Father, that you're going to confirm your word with signs following. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Something good is about to happen today. Father, I want to thank you for the testimony that happened yesterday. I want to thank you, God, for my for this person that sent a text and said, Lord God, that they were they wanted to commit suicide and they really battle with that, Father. I want to thank you, God, that Lord, that you allowed me and allowed us to pray for suicide and to cancel suicide. And they text yesterday, my God, and they said, Lord Jesus, that they got delivered. Oh God. We never know what you're doing, Lord. Oh, Father, I thank you. And, Lord, we pray today that if anyone, Lord, out there is feeling hurt or down or discouraged or alone or whatever they're going through, God, that they would get a touch from you in the name of Jesus. Let them experience a touch of Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Touch them where they're at, Father. You are able to do great and mighty things which we know not, Lord. Touch them today. 
May the presence of the Lord touch people today. I pray for our children. God, I pray, we pray in the name of Jesus that our children will be protected from any predator. In the name of Jesus, if there's any predators out there that wants to snatch our kids, expose them, oh God. Expose them in the name of Jesus that the San Antonio Police Department will be at the right place at the right time. Devil, you can't have our children in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that prayer be reinstituted in the halls of every school in the United States of America, Father. In the name of Jesus, let it happen again, Lord. Let it happen again. Reinstitute it, my God. Bring prayer back to the schools. But something else, Lord, bring prayer back to the houses. I mean the places where people live, oh God. Bring back again prayer in the homes. And I know that if we can bring prayer back in the homes, we can have it in the schools. Oh God, Christianity starts in the house, Lord. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for everyone that joined us this morning. I want to thank you, God. May you bless them today. I pray that the Holy Spirit will touch their lives, will touch them, Father. And whatever they have need of, God, you're able to supply in the name of Jesus. Watch over our nation, oh God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you would bless the labor of the hands that, of those that are going to work. Lord, those, God, that are working in the marketplace, I pray that there will be such lighting lights of the Lord that wherever they go, Father, they're just beaming with the presence of God. They're just glowing with the Holy Spirit. Thank you for touching them. I pray for people right now that are caring for elderly, for their own people, for moms and dads. Strengthen them. Bless them and touch them, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for moving upon their life in the name of the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that revival will happen when God's people begin to pray. And we're doing it right now. And I pray that countless hundreds of thousands of intercessors will join hands and say, yes, we're going to pray and we're going to seek the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I stand in agreement with city reachers, Father, and decree and declare that 10,000 intercessors will be risen up from the San Antonio area alone. God, that we will, Lord, have prayer meetings, Lord, that are so powerful they would have to spill at Wolf Stadium or any other stadium because the glory and the power and the presence of God is so strong and so mighty that God's people are praying in mass, hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God's people, it's been, I can't believe almost an hour have gone. Wow. It is amazing what happens when you pray in the, man, when you pray in the presence of God, something happens. I mean, time just, just goes fast. Thank, I mean, well, I mean, praise God. I don't know what to say about that, but time just disappears. I mean, it's amazing. God bless you, God's people. I'm going to finish a little early. But God bless you. If you don't have a place to go to church, I invite you to Temple of Praise Church. 1620 Pin Road on Sunday, 11 a.m. And if you do have a place to go, go there. Go to your house of worship. Support your pastor. Support that ministry. Get involved. Give. Be a blessing. Support that pastor. Support that ministry. Praise the Lord. People of God, we're going to do this again Monday morning. And again, I want to thank that sister in the Lord or whoever. Uh, I don't know. 
uh, somebody sent uh, uh, an instant message. Uh, thank, they were glad that we were praying on Facebook. Wow, and I, and I was really battling with that today. I was really, and you, you, already, you already know the struggle that I had just coming on. I mean, man, you know, the devil talks to me and say, well, don't get too radical. Don't get too wild. You know, just play it cool. You don't have to pray. You don't have to do all that. You know, just, just be cool. Just be cool, you know. <laughs> you know, the voice of reason. <laughs> Praise God, Lord. Help me, help me to go like this to the devil. <laughs> And to take and do this to you. <laughs> Help and y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for all, all of us. Let's let's cover each other in prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, God's people. I pray that God's blessing is on you so powerfully and so mighty. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. In the name of the Lord, good things are going to happen to you today. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, God's people. And in the words of my pastor, Gilbert Perez, he reminds you that Jesus is. <laughs>